Hi everyone, uh, this is a challenge passed on by Daniel at Soundtracks with Birdman. Uh, this is John Williams' uh, LP Vinyl Challenge. Uh, it's not going to be as long as uh, Daniel's because I have substantially less vinyl than uh, Daniel does. I stopped collecting vinyl, I think, in about 89, 90. So uh, let's get right into it. Uh, in no particular order, because I've just dug these out from all over the place. Uh, first one, The River, from whatever year that was. Uh, can't remember where I bought that. Can anybody explain to me why these little things here are... don't know, little clips out of the thing. Uh, Empire of the Sun, I think that was 87. I uh, love that score. Now got it expanded on uh, the La La, was it La La Land. Did the expanded version? I think so. Yeah. Uh, Dracula. I'm a fan of that score as well. Uh, expanded score is great as well. Uh, Varez did an expansion of that. They're one of their deluxe editions. Uh, got that from 58 Dean Street Records in London, along with a lot of other records. Uh, original Jaws. No idea where I got that. Probably a shop. Jaws 2, new music, says it on the uh, cover. The Fury, this is the uh, the LSO re-recording. Uh, again, I've got the La La Land expansion now, so I've got, uh, which also comes with uh, a kind of a revamped version of this. I think this was recorded at the same time as uh, Superman. Uh, the Star Wars Trilogy, Return of the Jedi, Empire Strikes Back, Star Wars, uh, the Utah Symphony Orchestra. This is a great re-recording. Now, this is this is TER Records. Now, I think these were the licensees for Verez in the UK. So, uh, a lot of what would be Verez in the uh, US will be TER uh, in the UK. Uh, Varwan Kojan, I don't know how to pronounce that, but uh, great re-recording. Uh, I've got that on CD now as well. Uh, the original E.T. soundtrack from 1982. Uh, I'm surprised this is in such good condition because this would, thing was just played to death. Uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, uh, the original release from 1981. Uh, with the pictures on the back. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom from 1984. Uh, Again, that one's played to death. That's that's my favourite indie score as well. Shocker. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. This was probably one of the last vinyl records I bought. This along with Batman from 1989. Uh, and Star Trek V as well. Got that on vinyl. Great score. Superman the movie. Uh, it's in a... That's the thing, but this was... Uh, Gatefold. Love this. What's this? Oh, it's the track listings. Because the track listings weren't on the back. Only on the uh, uh, the actual LPs themselves. So I wrote them on a thing. So that's, that's my handwriting from about 40 years ago. All right, let's put that uh, to one side. Uh, the Accidental Tourist, I think from 88, I think it was, somewhere around there anyway, 88, 89, uh, yep, yeah, lovely score. Uh, now I think this was uh, released on CD at some point, uh, I haven't got the CD, I've only got uh, this which I bought in, I can't remember, I can't remember the date of this, it was, it was either... 84 or 85, I think it was 84, uh, but this is uh, Roy Budd conducting the, the London Symphony Orchestra and it had uh, his versions of Raiders of the Lost Ark, uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, Superman, E.T. Uh, it also had other things on it, Alien, uh, Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, uh, a Star Trek suite and also had the first ever recording of uh, or re-recording of Supergirl, uh, which was a slightly faster version than the actual film uh, but great LP 
rather interesting versions of uh, the Indiana Jones uh, themes on there as well. Uh, not the original orchestration. Uh, the original Close Encounters of the Third, third Kind. Uh, again, played to death. Love this score. Love this score. 1941. Uh, I'm so chuffed to get the, uh, the La La Land expansion on that one. Uh, Space Camp. Great score. Film. No. Nah. This was an odd one I discovered. Uh, it's the John Williams Symphonic Suites. Uh, music from E.T., Close Encounters and Star Wars. Now this is the London Symphony Orchestra and the National Philharmonic Orchestra conducted by Frank Barber. Uh, I should have worn my glasses trying to see what year this is. Don't know. But that's an odd one. Don't know where that came from. No idea where that came from. Uh, Jane Eyre. Uh, I think this was released in the UK in about 82. Again on TER Records. Uh, under license from uh, Varese, I believe. I think. Not sure. Uh, Witches of Eastwick from 1987. Love that score as well. Now we get on to uh, Star Wars. Star Wars, not the original LP. Uh, great stuff. Now this is a, this is falling to bits, and it's a shame. This is the original uh, Empire Strikes Back. Uh, my my favourite Star Wars score. Now this this has been through the uh, the ringer and back. This travelled from Northern Ireland to the UK in a suitcase that also had some pickled beetroot in it. No idea why. Uh, the pickled beetroot broke, and everything in in the suitcase was infected with beetroot juice, uh, including this. It took it took about a decade for the smell of beetroot. <laughs> to get out of this, but it was just, I was absolutely heartbroken when I saw the state of this. Uh, but uh, anyway, the, the LP still played, but uh, this is just a appalling condition, but it's got sentimental value, so I've still got it. The original Return of the Jedi soundtrack from 1983. I've included this because it's got John Williams music in it, but it's, uh, it's a bit of a rarity these days. The Story of Star Wars, which is, uh, uh, story of Star Wars. Clips from the film uh, narrated by uh, somebody. Can't remember who. Doesn't say on there. Probably does say on there, but I can't be bothered looking. Uh, now, I say I haven't bought any vinyl for the past 30 years. That's a lie. Uh, just just for a collector's point of view, when they re-released the Star Wars soundtracks on vinyl, I picked them up just so I would have brand spanking new ones. So I got Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, just to replace that old tatty one, uh, and Return of the Jedi. So, yeah, slightly less than Daniel's collection, uh, but... That's my John Williams vinyl uh, collection. I think it's 27 albums in total. Got a lot more on CD. Uh, but uh, yeah, shorter than Daniels. But I, will, I, I don't play these anymore, but I will never get rid of them. They, they, they hold so much sentimental value. Uh, yeah, that's my collection. Uh, still working on... Uh, Probably uh, a Jerry Goldsmith CD show and tell. I think that'll be good. I've got about 160 odd Jerry Goldsmith CDs. So, uh, love Jerry Goldsmith, so don't mind showing those off and uh, uh, and discussing those. So, probably do that soon and I'll do some more memorable music uh, movie moments as well. I'm doing one soon that Daniel wanted to see of uh, Jerry Goldsmith uh, Western scores. So, yeah, got lots of things in the pipeline. So I'll get on that uh, uh, and I'll see you soon. Good day.